What's up, everybody? John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today, I want to talk about cat string theory. Okay, very, very important concept. Another one that is often overlooked. Okay, my last couple of videos, I was talking about some old school mystery principles. Okay, not mystery as in what are they? Mystery as in the guy from the book The Game. Okay, who was the wingman of Neil Strauss. That's how a lot of us found out about this seduction and pickup and dating stuff. Okay, this was the early founders. And I'm kind of going through some of the golden nuggets from Mystery's trainings, okay, and from his, his ideas about what's going on here in social dynamics. So before we continue, please press the subscribe button below. Make sure you press notification bell. So you're alerted of new videos every week. So what is cat string theory? Okay. Let me start off. When I was in high school, okay, I was incredibly shy, incredibly awkward, had social anxiety, general anxiety, panic disorder, terrified to talk to chicks, terrified to even talk to fucking dudes, okay? Not to hit on them, but just <laughs> as just terrified to talk to everyone. Okay. I sat with like two really nerdy kids at lunch. Like I never in a million years imagined being in this place right now. Fucking over a thousand chicks, or right, having hot chicks all around all the time. Like in high school, I was literally like day trading stocks. I was sneaking out of lunch to go day trade stocks, playing the violin. I was in math competitions. I was uh, chess competitions. I ended up playing professional poker in early college. I was reading about artificial intelligence taking over the world. You know, all kinds of shit that was you know far beyond my years. While everyone else was fucking having fun and partying and getting late, okay. And no, that's not some marketing fucking sad story. You know, a lot of, once I once I found out there's marketers in this space, like creating like the hero stories so they can relate. I actually had all that shit going on, okay. And when I got into college, when I first started dating chicks, I thought, as many of you probably do, that, you know. The more like the more shit you do for a girl, there will be a correlation to how much she likes you. This was my mentality. This is what's told to us, you know, by our parents. This is what's told to us by society. This is what's told to us in the fucking Disney movies. Okay, I'll repeat that because a lot of you, I'm sure, because I've had a lot of clients. I've been coaching since 2012. I had a lot of clients that have had the same sentiment. I've seen this in the forums. This is how I felt myself. The more shit you do for a girl, the more nice stuff you do for a girl, okay, the more she will like you. That's, I'm saying that was a mistaken mindset, and I'll go into how this relates to cat string theory and what the correct mindset should be, but I thought, okay, if I take her to a whole bunch of dinners, I'm earning points. If I buy her flowers, okay, I earn points. If I buy her chocolate, okay, I earn points. I, I would actually buy them, like, fucking stuffed bears and shit, too. I wasn't even dating very much in college, especially in early college, but I thought doing all this shit, right, okay, I like her, I'm going to tell her that all the time, that's going to increase my chances, um, what else, uh, she fucks up, it's okay, like if I challenge her or, or express, first of all, I didn't, I didn't know how to set boundaries with anyone, men or women, okay, or with my family, and People would walk on me and all that kind of shit, and I was just kind of very passive and kind of like a fucking doormat for a lot of people, okay? And I have a video on having boundaries as a man. Check that out. I highly recommend it. But, you know, um, with, with all that going on, right, I thought, okay, this is how I become more in the girl's favor. And actually, it was the direct opposite, okay? So what is cat string theory? Cat string theory is a principle by mystery that he says if you dangle a string okay from a ball of yarn you dangle a string in front of a cat it will reach for it it will jump up it will do you know do tricks whatever to try to get that yarn it really really wants that that yarn but you're just dangling the string however if you are to give the whole yarn the whole ball of yarn to the cat it doesn't want it anymore okay isn't that interesting so, how does that relate to game and seduction and fucking hot chicks, okay, and keeping hot chicks? Well, you don't want to make yourself fully available. You don't want to be needy. You don't want to be desperate. You don't want to just be unconditionally 
showering her with you know gifts and praise and all this stuff okay it's okay I have a video called how to be a gentleman without being a pussy I don't know if that's the exact title but search my channel for gentlemen <laughs> I think that's what I'll, I'll put the I'll put the picture of it. I'll find it. I'll put the picture of it here on the video. But you know, girls like asshole guys and bad boy guys because largely there's just a string dangling. Okay, the guys don't give a shit that much, right, or at all. The guys have other options with other chicks. Th this particular girl is not a big deal to them. All right, they don't feel the need to say, "Oh, baby, I miss you. I miss you. I miss you." All this stupid shit. If she fucks up, the guy is gonna fucking, you know, punish her and you know, with either not speaking to her again or or like calling her out on it at the very least. And he's gonna do nice shit, kind of intermittently, but only, you know, to reward good behavior and and only because he feels like doing something. Like when I take out a chick to a dinner, it's not to gain points. It's because I want to fucking go eat steak or I want to go have an Italian dinner or whatever. And I, it's nice to like dress up with some fucking hot chick I'm, I'm dating. It's not, you know, I'm not doing it from this place where it's like, here's the yarn, right? So keep that in mind with all your parts of your interactions with women. If you keep it where it's just a string dangling, okay, where you're just giving them a little taste of the cake. I think that's another analogy that he uses or, or someone fucking used that. Give them a little taste of the cake, but not the whole cake. Okay? You want to keep... That's how you keep things interesting. Okay? Let's, let's look at an example of giving the whole ball of yarn. Okay? Hey, wow, you're like the prettiest girl ever. Oh, my God. And I'm going to tell you that every day. Uh, good morning, babe. Like, how's your day going? You know, texting too much. Complimenting too much. Hey, babe, like, here's some flowers. Let's go to dinner. Oh, can I can I uh, do this for you afterwards? Can I buy you an ice cream? No. Oh, can I get you this this bear? I mean, I'm being extreme here, but a lot of you are leaning towards that side, okay? And the chick, think about it. A hot chick is getting praise and attention and validation from every man wherever she goes. Okay, mystery says this also. <laughs> Sound like a big fucking mystery fanboy in the last few videos. This is some good stuff. Um, I'm actually going to try to get him to interview on my channel. Um, so, we used to we used to talk like almost every day a couple years ago, two or three years ago. And then I like fucking made fun of, it, of Bexter. <laughs> and that pissed him off. Plus, mystery is like too cool for school. He said if you ask Siri to show you pickup artists, it shows him and not me. <laughs> So, there's that also. Okay, but he had, he says at, at some point, either in his book or somewhere, that for a hot girl, imagine since she was 16 or 17, everyone's fucking staring at her, complimenting at, complimenting her, catcalling her, hitting on her, and this this is her life. It's just it's just endless. It's relentless. So, if you come into that category and you're just showering her with praise, showering her with attention. You are just readily available. Okay, she fucks up. It's okay. Like you don't want to offend her. You don't want to challenge her. You don't want to. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go to dinner tonight, babe? Like it's up to you. Like I, for anything for you, babe. That is not how you get or keep hot girls. That's not how you get or keep any girl. So what you need to do is be a man that's centered, okay, in his own life. And if you want to fucking go to dinner, you go to dinner. If you don't want to go to dinner, you don't fucking go to dinner. If she fucks up, you call her out. I just had uh, one of my hottest chicks on my rotation um, just pulled some shit the other day. And I won't even get into the story. But I was like, what the fuck, right? And I'm like, I don't know if I even want to fucking hang out with you anymore, right? She didn't, she didn't bang some dude or anything like that. She basically just had like an attitude and, you know, was being like pissy or whatever and, and was like mouthing off kind of. And I was like, what the fuck is this bullshit? And I'm like, I don't even know if I want to fucking see you again. And now she's like backpedaling and like, babe, I'm so sorry. And like, babe, I miss you. Please, like, you know. And I'm just going to ignore the text for a while. 
And I don't, I honestly, and this, and this is, this is like straight from the, from the heart here, the truth. Like I was telling my friend, cause I can't imagine, you know, I couldn't have imagined this like years back. I was like, dude, I don't even care if I ever fucking see her again or if I ever bang her again, even though she's like close to a 10. And that's like a huge fucking deal. Like it's like a huge revel, you know, revelation. I'd rather hang out with a chick that's a little less hot. That's fucking cool. And not pulling bullshit. Like. You know, but that's the thing. It's like she's never gotten the ball of yarn, and she never will. And she has like a million dudes hitting her up, and she wants me, okay? Because they're all like, "Here's the yarn, here's the yarn, here's the yarn," and that's boring for her, okay? She's done that a million times. So you have to be the dude that's gonna call them on their shit. Watch my video, Boundaries of the Man. That's gonna be nice to them until they fuck up, okay? But not pussy nice. Huge difference. And then that's that other video I was referencing, which I will I will post this, the uh, thumbnail of. Um, and just don't don't constantly be showering them with praise and attention and and saying I miss you and, and texting them all the time, and fucking that this is that all these behaviors are what's typically labeled as needy, or desperate, etc. Okay, they, they translate into low value, like unattractive ways to like dry up the pussy. Fuck, <laughs> my last like, six videos have had limited mo limited monetization. Uh, pussy just ruined it. They're, like re requesting manual reviews and they're like, nope. <laughs> you said pussy. <clears throat> Whatever. Um, at least I can fucking say pussy on YouTube. On Facebook, that'd be a 30 day ban. So, uh, yeah, you just stop doing that shit. Like, don't be this fucking low value, like needy, like here's the yarn, here's the yarn, here's the yarn. Like, be a cool dude that's gonna be in charge and be calling around her shit and be leading and be confident and, and have other options, have plenty of other options with plenty of other chicks. Okay, so you're dangling that fucking string in front of all of them. And they're all trying to fucking get the yarn and they'll never get it. Okay. So think about that. Cat string theory, very powerful. And it doesn't mean like, oh, I'm playing hard to get, and like, oh, I'm gonna make her chase me because I'm the prize. Like, like, just fucking don't, don't be a pussy. Like, <laughs> it comes down to like, don't be a pussy. Don't give her the keys to the castle. Like, do little, do little nice things for her here and there, but don't get rid of the mindset that doing nice shit and and showering her with praise and and letting everything she does wrong be cool with you don't think that's going to translate into winning you points and, and keeping the girl and stuff like that okay because it's going to be the direct opposite okay, i hope that was helpful please like and subscribe below uh infield footage coming this week which means hidden camera uh video and audio there will be clips the the full the full infield stuff um is in my product the paid product occam's razor link below in the description but I'll be having some select and feel close in the, in the rows. They're going to be coming regularly again, too. This week up is Social Prime, and I'm committing to that one as well. I keep seeing those fuckers around town in Warsaw. All right, so thank you very much. See you guys in the next video. Have a great week.